But if you've walked through the streets of Baltimore, you've likely seen her colorful displays of black pride. Her name, Megan Lewis, she's an artist from Baltimore, making a name for herself on a national level. We'll take a look at what motivates this multidisciplinary artist and how she's bridging the gap. My dad was the first person that introduced me to art. He tells the story of, you know, I was really active when I was younger, and what could I do, or what activity could he watch me do that I wouldn't hurt myself? So he literally sat me down and gave me a pencil and paper, and I actually was good at it. Megan Lewis knew by the young age of six that she wanted to be an artist. I make mirrors, I do furniture, I paint, I do everything. I love color. You've probably seen Lewis's work and didn't realize it. While her studio on West Baltimore Street is filled with bright, colorful paintings, it's the city of Baltimore that's her biggest canvas. You can literally walk outside and see my artwork. Can you imagine wanting to be an artist since I was six and the first mural i had done is inside the Blacks and Wax Museum. I used to go to Shake and Make all the time when I was little and to have a mural there, it's like, what? I can't, I can't believe it. One of Lewis's first murals was the Black Statue of Liberty at Baker and McKean. She was 26 at the time. And with each piece of artwork, the Ringling College of Art and Design grad says she's evolving. Her work at the Metro Station is proof of that. She's 33, with 15 murals, several paintings, and a Doritos bag in her portfolio. So Doritos connected with me um, in year 2020. Um, they were doing murals um, in certain cities, and Baltimore was one of the locations. And I did a Protect Black Women um, mural, and they texted me, literally, I got, I got a text from Doritos, and they said, you know, we have this opportunity for you. Um, when will you, can we connect with you? When are you available? We would like to talk more about it. And it was to design a Doritos bag. Her bag, just one of the many opportunities afforded to this bright young artist. She's also done things for Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, and HBO to name a few. Great pleasure to have a great artist, Megan Lewis, on hand here for three nights putting up the first of a couple of murals. The wings she designed at Camden Yards will have you flying high at an Orioles game. But it's her artwork in city schools that's moved her the most that I have to make sure like the quality of my images of specifically black women is is top tier because I've done murals in school so like I said making sure the hair is right the skin tone making sure these young black girls have these images that they can look up to right I didn't see that like imagine going to a school right and seeing this beautiful drawing of yourself I didn't see that in school during the pandemic, Lewis did a lot of painting when mural opportunities dried up. While she loves painting on canvas and is good at it, she admits the magic that comes from a mural is a work of art that she's always excited to share with Baltimore. They're the same as paintings as anything. It's just that the people who view them are in the community, right? So it's, it's larger, it's more impactful. And once again, it gets into your subconscious whether you know it or not. So you just have to be very, very careful because art is very, very powerful. 